Today we're gonna to make a sweet and savory grain bowl made with quinoa, sweet potato, and garbanzo beans. And we're also gonna sweeten it up with a little bit of blueberries and blackberries and mango. And then we'll tie it all together with a vinaigrette. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after my chef joke. What did the lettuce say to the celery? Let us be friends forever. <laughs> So to start off our recipe, we're gonna talk about quinoa. Now it's a delicious grain and it has a lot of nutrition in it. In a quarter cup, it has six grams of protein and three grams of fiber, not to mention some calcium, iron, and potassium. So that's why I like to use it and it's gluten-free. I'll measure out a cup and then you wanna put it in a strainer because you need to rinse it under cold water for just a few seconds. Place that in a saucepan and then add a couple of cups of water to it. We'll take it over to the stove and then we'll turn on the heat and bring it to a boil. Once that comes to a boil, give it a quick stir and then we'll put a lid on it and simmer it for about 15 minutes. While we're waiting for the quinoa to get done, well, we'll just work on our sweet potato. That takes a little bit. So cut off the ends. This is an organic sweet potato. And of course I rinsed it and then I poked a bunch of holes in it so it won't explode in the microwave. So I cook my sweet potatoes on high for usually three minute increments until it's nice and fork tender. So here you can see the fork goes in nice and easily, but you don't want it to be too mushy. So you just want it to be able to go in, but still have a little resistance. While that potato is cooling off, we're gonna work on this delicious vinaigrette. Okay, we're gonna start off with some olive oil here. I always like to use olive oil because it's very healthy. Next is an equal amount of apple cider vinegar. Make sure you give it a little shake before you measure it out. And don't forget, you can get the written recipe below the video in the description area. Next, we're gonna add some dried basil. This is actually freeze-dried. Garlic salt is next, and then we'll finish it off with salt and pepper. We'll blend this up until it's nice and creamy. And then, oops, you know what I forgot? The honey. I'm gonna place about a teaspoon of this and that way it will balance out the acidity in the dressing. Now here it is, my nice creamy dressing and now we're gonna move on to prepping some sweet potatoes. So they've cooled off a bit and now we're just gonna peel them. I'm just gonna slice them here and cut them into bite-sized pieces. I'll tell you, there's a lot of slicing and dicing for this. I mean, you have to do a lot of prep work with the vegetables, but I'm telling you, it is definitely worth it. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes here cooking. We're gonna check our quinoa, and what you wanna do is just make sure all the liquid is you know, cooked out of it, and we just wanna fluff this up. I'm gonna let it cool a little bit because I don't wanna put it hot on my salad. I'm also adding some garbanzo beans to our salad bowl, and I'm using organic here, so we're just gonna you know, take them out of the can, we're gonna place them in a strainer, and then we're gonna give them a, a nice little rinse. So the last thing I need to prep up is a mango. We're gonna cut this up and cut it into bite-sized pieces and add it to our salad bowl. First of all, you wanna make sure you have a ripe mango. So it should be t you know, soft to the touch like a, an avocado, all right? And then you're gonna cut the what they call cheeks off. So the seed runs in this direction here, and so you're gonna slide the knife right down the side of it. So then I'll take the seed portion and I'm just gonna run my knife down along the side of the seed as close to it as I possibly can to get a few extra pieces of mango out of it. Then I'll make some slits, but don't go through the skin on this and then tip it on its side and you can just trim those off with your knife. Now with each cheek portion, you're just gonna score the mango with your knife at about half inch increments. Then rotate the mango 90 degrees and score it in the other direction. Invert the piece and then you can take your knife and just cut those little chunks right off. I find that cutting the mango this way makes it nice, quick, and easy. I think we're about ready to put this salad together. Let me show you all the ingredients that I have. All right, here's our cooled off quinoa. I've got some organic blueberries, blackberries. I have pistachios, you gotta have those. There's our garbanzo beans, along with our sweet potato, our mango, and of course our dressing. Now, the salad portion of this, I'm using some arugula. This is organic arugula. Now we'll just place everything in our bowl. Here goes our quinoa. Put in as much as you like. Toss in a few garbanzo beans. 
Keep your eyes peeled as I add some sweet potatoes. Delicious mango is next. Now let's throw in those greens with a little bit of arugula. Now if you've never had pistachios in your salad, well you're in for a treat because these are simply amazing. Once you put them in, you're going to be putting them in all the time. Blackberries are next. As you can probably tell, I like them a lot. Then I'll put a handful of blueberries and then I'll mix this up with a couple of forks. I like to toss it up a little bit before I add the dressing so that things don't get clumpy. I'll give that salad dressing a little mix before adding just to make sure it's well combined and then I'm just going to spoon over about three tablespoons. Now it's all going to depend on how big your salad is, right? The best approach is just to add some and then give it a mix and then, you know, take a taste and see how it is. If you need to add more, you can. You just want to make sure everything is well coated. The flavors in this are incredibly delicious. You, it's something you really must try. Now, if you're interested in a little dessert with this, you might want to try my high protein cottage cheese ice cream or pudding. Click the link on the screen and it'll take you right to the recipe. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, let me know by smashing the like button. All right, I got one more little joke for you. What do you call a vegetable that's afraid to go to the salad bar? Chicken Caesar. All right, we'll see you back here next week for another delicious and healthy recipe.